It's your boy Sid and welcome to the Dallas Cowboys for Life channel. Once again, thank you for taking the time to view and subscribe to my channel. Um, guys, I appreciate the love that I'm getting from the Cowboys Nation. Uh, subscribers are going up every day. The grind is real, uh, but I appreciate it, everybody who's taking the time to subscribe and watch my videos once again. Thank you. So let's talk. Oh, well, hold up, guys. I got to take a little sip of this. My, my Nespresso coffee here. Without this, whew, this day does not function. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the Cowboys. Um, Mike McCarthy has decided not to re, uh, not to continue uh, using John Keena Keena as the uh, quarterback coach. I, I don't understand how he was the quarterback coach. He wasn't that good. Um, so to me, it's not a big loss. So move on. Um, let's talk about a little bit the Dallas Cowboys. I've also announced that they're going to um, in this offseason the priority is to sign Dak Prescott. Yes, please let's sign Dak Prescott as soon as possible. I said it before, I believe that he's going to be an elite quarterback, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Um, so please give him the money that he wants and let's sign him as quickly as we can. Um, I also want to ask you guys a quick question also going to the draft what do you guys think the number one priority should be for the Dallas Cowboys um, what position should they fill it uh, fill as quickly as possible In my opinion I believe that we should um, go after a tight end uh, Jason Wynn's done I appreciate what he's done with the Dallas Cowboys throughout his career um, he had his midlife crisis he came in this year again didn't do as much as he used to do before, but still had some key plays for us. But Jason Witten, um, as a Cowboy fan, I love everything that you've done, but I think it's time for you to hang up your cleats for good. So let's talk about yesterday's games a little bit. Um, a, a lot of shockers. Um, Vikings uh, against the 49ers. To me, I wanted the Vikings to win. Uh, I wanted to shut my boy Cyril up. Uh, he keeps sending me memes about the Dallas Cowboys, and I wanted to be able to uh, show that love back to him, but unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Listen, uh, Kirk Cuttons played like he used to play in Washington. Um, stupid decisions, um, but I, you got to give respect to the 49ers defense. They were all over him. Um, I believe Kirk Cousins was sacked six times. Um, so... <laughs> That, that says it all right there. He had no time to do nothing. And when he did have time to do something, he was unable to uh, produce. Uh, I believe that he had uh, 21 attempts out of 29. And for 172 yards, um, he threw one interception. I yes, he threw one interception. Um, he threw it towards uh, Sherman. You, you, uh, you don't go to Sherman unless... You, you, anyways. I don't know why he made that decision. Richard Sherman's one of the top DBs out there, and Sherman capitalized on it. So, and then the, another mistake that I was really frustrated about that I kept seeing, they kept going to Dalvin Cook. Um, Dalvin Cook had nine carries, 18 yards, averaged two yards per attempt. Guys, it wasn't working, but mine, like I said, nothing was working. So congratulations to the 49ers for getting that W. Final score, 27-10. Cyril, I hope next week you lose. So let's talk about the shocker of the night. Uh, listen, Titans versus uh, Ravens. Wow. Um, guys, again, Ryan Tannehill didn't produce so much. He had seven attempts. Uh, he, he completed seven out of 14 attempts, 88 yards. Um, what wonder game for them was, uh, listen, let's be honest, Derek Henry. This guy's a beast. 30 carries, 195 yards. He, in the last two games, he had close to 400 yards in, uh, in rushing. Uh, yesterday, he had a trick play, threw for a touchdown. It just, everything worked well for the Titans. And I, I believe that when you go into a playoff game after having a, um, a week off, to me, that hurts. I, I always said that one of the Dallas Cowboys make the playoffs, I'd rather them play every week than have a week off and then go into a playoff game. Um, listen, uh, the Titans beat a first place, uh, a first, uh, uh, um, a team that was seeded first place overall. Um, the Ravens went into this 14 wins, two losses. 
the Titans had 10 wins, 6 losses. Guys, it just goes to show that some teams go into a playoff being hungry. And they were hungry. Just, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, Lamar Jackson had an amazing game yesterday. Uh, not an amazing game, but he, he passed uh, for 365 yards. He rushed for 143 yards. It just nothing was falling into place for these guys. And unfortunately, they got the L. Guys, thanks again for taking the time to watch. There's a lot of good games today. Houston versus Kansas City. Yesterday, my picks were totally wrong. I'm actually 0-2. Uh, I had the Ravens uh, beating the Titans, and I had um, the Vikings beating the 49ers. So I'm 0-2. So for today, Houston versus Kansas City, I don't know. I After what I saw yesterday with the Titans, listen, I hope Kansas City is ready, and I hope they're, they're coming out to play. Uh, so... I would like to see Houston beat Kansas City, but um, we'll see what's going to happen. Seattle versus Green Bay. I always said it. I think Seattle will take this game. So my picks are um, Houston to beat Kansas City, I hope, and uh, Seattle to beat Green Bay. Thanks again for watching. It's your boy, Sid, and I'm out.